morning YouTube. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope y'all had a good week. Finally Saturday, thank God. And uh, excuse me, we're a little hungover, I'm not gonna lie to you. Went out with uh, a couple guys in my uh, um, bridal party there and we got suited up for the big wedding. And then we went out and had a couple beers and some chicken wings. So, a little tired. It's friggin' cold today. It's like minus 10. April, minus 10, so it's pretty wild. Last year, this time, I was in shorts, and it was plus 20, so... It kind of sucks. There's still lots of snow around, but in a way, it's kind of good, because I'm an allergy sufferer. It uh, kind of helps me out a bit. I don't have to suffer for too long of a period. But uh, it's freezing out. But anyways, I got a gift from the warden yesterday. I was pretty happy about that. And uh, I will show you it right here. Here she is. Nice little poker or billiard. I'm not really sure what type. I can't remember. But uh, pretty wicked pipe. I know it's hard to see with the camera, but I'll uh, end up walking outside with it. But uh, pretty deep bowl too. Nice deep bowl. I smoked a half a bowl this last yesterday actually with this thing. And uh, she smokes like a champ. So I don't know. It's just your base. It's just a forty dollar pipe, no name or nothing. And, you know, that's fine with me because I have a Peterson already and uh, all the pipes they have there for Petersons and all that, I'm not, I don't really, uh, I'm not too drawn to them. Like, if I can get a nice Peterson or bring them a pipe like this, I'd be, I'd be, fuss, I'd be set, but I'm not going to spend $140 on something I really don't want just because it's a kind of a, you know, it's either Peterson or bring them, so. 40 bucks, nice little pipe, like the friggin', like the, kind of the rustification or the, the, uh, I don't know what you call that, but I just like the design of it, and I love, I love the friggin' straight pipe. And I had one of these at one time, I had a real nice one actually, and uh, I left it in the boat, my dad stepped on it and broke it, so we'll be stepping on this one, so this is my f second one now, so I got four pipes in total, and uh, like I said, I love this pipe. So, might as well smoke a pipe, since I'm out here freezing my dick off, well, yeah, I'm hungover, so, anyways, so, we have some pretty cool stuff, that's it right there, Mr. B's Rise and Shine, whatever that is, Ayub, Ayub, I don't know, but it's the D-Series Pipe Tobacco, 17 bucks a tin, good old friggin' sticker on there, and it's made by Brigham, it says... Oh, imported, sorry, by Brigham Enterprises. And, uh, it's made in Germany. And this stuff here, you get in Canada, but I think you can get in the States. It's starting to come in the States now. But, uh, it was a replacement for Dunhill's Morning Blend, they say. And there's another kind of, uh, Mr. B's. I think Honky Tonkin told me what it was. And, uh, it was a replacement for Nightcap. So I never tried any Dunhill morning blends, so I wouldn't really know what it tastes like. But uh, that is what she looks like. Pretty dark, pretty rich. Kind of a sweet smell to it. Very sweet smell. You can smell a lot of the Latakia, whatever you call it. Very strong smell there. So I'll uh, pack a little bowl here. And uh, go from there. I smoked a half a bowl yesterday and... Uh, from my first bowl of it, it was pretty, uh, pretty good stuff, pretty decent. Uh, all I can say is that uh, it's got quite the kick of nicotine. Sent me a little sore in there for a bit, and uh, really not bad stuff. Buck, Buckley, friggin' bugger. Anyways, Buck. Stay in the yard, holy man. Alright. I imagine my video is too long. So here we go. Yeah, I like to, uh, actually, I like just matches. I feel like matches today. Come on. What's going on here? Here we go.
So there we go. All lit up. And smokes like a champ. Very impressed with this stuff. Now they use for a top bop, pop top. Good old tamper. But uh, anyways, so I had a half a bowl yesterday, and uh, I quite I enjoy it quite much. Very good stuff. I'll give you the rundown. It's uh, origins made in Canada, I guess, or it's sold in Canada, made in Germany. And it's air cured, it's got some Virginia, some Oriental, it's got some replacements. Like I said, it's a replacement for Morning Blend Dunhill. I'm trying to find my matches. And uh, it's just a, a pretty, really good, it's actually a really good smoke. I, uh, I'm starting to really enjoy it now. Very good stuff. And uh, I would definitely buy it again for sure. You know, it's a good English tobacco. It's got a good strong taste. It's got that good uh, Latakia taste to it too. And uh, it's just some wicked stuff. There we go. So, as like I said, you know, it's sweet. It's like really good full body flavor. And uh, got a nice earthy and rich taste to it too. And almost like a smoky taste, like a, a sweet smoky taste. It's very nice. Kind of reminds me of uh, Peterson's Old Dublin or uh, the Salani's 779. I think it's just the Lakia taste. Lakia. I think that's the taste that just kind of reminds me. So that's about it. We'll venture outside for a minute. Very nice, bright, sunny day. You see the bite a little bit better. Very nice stuff. Love it. And uh, morning lunch, er, uh, rise and shine, they call it. So, after being out drinking last night, definitely needs to be some rise and shine. But uh, if you see it around, if you're Canadian even, if you see it around, or American, you can get it both places now. They start to distribute in the States before, before it was just permanently, uh, or primarily, Canada. But uh, if you do see it, try some out. You can't go wrong. Like I said, I'd give it about 8 out of 10. Really good stuff. Good English tobacco. And uh, pairs up wicked with the coffee. So other than that, my friends, that would be it for me. I'm going to smoke the rest of my pipe. Enjoy the rest of my day. And uh, you all take care. And we'll uh, talk to you later.